Now that the elections have been finished for almost two weeks, uh, we finally have some clear direction on the markets. The US dollar is gaining strength, so that means that we are bearish on the major US pairs. And gold, what about gold? <laughs> gold is sinking like a ship. Yes, it's very clear that the bears have taken control of gold. It dropped $140 just last week, 1,400 pips. So the sellers are in control of gold and the major U.S. pairs. Is this trend likely to continue? Well, let's have a look at the charts and see what they tell us. And of course, we start off with the regular weekly analysis, which I do every Sunday before the markets open on Monday. This is the weekly analysis starting on the 18th of November, 2024, coming up to Thanksgiving in the U.S. And of course, uh, we will look at the high impact news. Uh, we have our go-to website, forexfactory.com, where we check the data that will be released during this upcoming week. And then I will look at the profit and loss we had from last week's trades. And it was a very profitable week, by the way. And then we'll also look at the uh, pending orders, the trade setups that I have in place to help you make profit with your Forex trading. And now we'll jump over and have a look at the screenshot from ForexFactory.com. This is the high impact news that's coming out this upcoming week. And starting off uh, the week is the Bank of Japan. The governor will be speaking. And then during the week, most of the news is actually on the Canadian, the pound, and the euro. Not much uh, on the U.S. economy. One or two items on the U.S. economy. So I won't go through all of these items. It is a full calendar. Just be sure that you check forexfactor.com for your local times. And I'll look at the profit and loss that we had, and we'll do that right now. This is from last week's trade setups. It was a very profitable week. So let's see how that turned out. And starting off with gold, I had a buy limit at uh, 2650, between 2650 and 2660. Uh, if you remember, I said that I was still bullish on gold. That was one week ago. Things change and they change very quickly. Uh, looking at Monday, you'll see what happened here. Uh, this is the four hour candle. So you can't see clearly what uh, did happen. But if you go back to the smaller time frames, you'll see that gold came down to 2650, then went back up. And when we got a high during that four hour period uh, for a profit of 230 pips. So you would have had to have been watching the charts and either you had a trailing stop or you were moving your uh, stop loss up behind uh, the candle as it moved up. Uh, there's several ways you could have approached that. But then if you just let that run, then you would have uh, ended up hitting your stop loss and been in a big loss. But we did get 230 pips out of that on Monday before uh, everything just turned around completely and gold started to go deeper and deeper into lower prices. Then looking at the uh, US 30, I had a buy limit on that one with the entry price at 43.9. It hit that on Wednesday went just a little bit below and then came up during the day, during the U.S. session to give us 260 pips before on Thursday and Friday starting to uh, make a correction. Then on the Euro U.S., I had a sell limit on that one. It didn't quite get to the pending order, but if you had been watching that and you took this trade during the London market, you could have made, by the end of the week, a profit of 200 pips. On the odd U.S., this one did hit the pending order. All right, so this executed on Monday and it was a sell limit and went all the way, to, all the way, all during the week, just kept going down and finally finished up with 160 pips profit on the odd US. The New Zealand US also hit the pending order and that one continued down as did the odd US and for a total on the New Zealand US of 136 pips profit. The pound US uh, also executed on Monday and went down for 300 pips. This was the cash cow this week. Just a continuing escalation down, a continuing down move, bearish against the US dollar for a grand total of 300 pips profit on the pound US. Then the USD CAD. 
Okay, I said no trade on that one. If you were trading on that, it did very, very well. It's gone up to really, really high prices, uh, finishing the week at $1.40. All right, and I've told you several times, I'm not gonna be buying uh, the USD CAD at these high prices, and I'll explain that a little bit more clearly in my pending order setup that I share with you. Then the UJ, the USD JPY, uh, this one I, was a market execution order. I said, when you wake up on Monday morning, to uh, buy the USD JPY. If you did that, it's a grand total of 417 pips. So this was really the cash cow, even beating out the pound US. 417 pips profit uh, by the end of the day on Thursday and then a little bit more on Friday before making a correction uh, during the London market and then more in the uh, US market. Finishing up the week, notice this, finishing up the week with a long-legged doji which often means indecision in the market, and we could start to see a reversal or turnaround. This is something the UJ does a lot. It goes one direction, then makes a big correction, then it starts to continue in the same trend that it has been in for a long, long time. So I have a good pending order to share with you on the UJ coming up shortly. All right, let's move over to the uh, chart where I have my pending orders set up for you. This is the XAU USD. Goal is a sell limit. Surprise, surprise. Okay, no surprise there. Look at that, that big drop that we saw all last week, all right, on gold. So we need a retracement, a correction. Gold should pull back to at least uh, 2,600, uh, maybe, all right. But if not, and it only pulls back to this first resistance line of 2,575, uh, you can enter there. So I have two sell limits on gold, one at the first resistance line, that's 2,575, and the second one at uh, 2600. So a sell limit on gold as we continue to be bearish on gold against the US dollar. And now looking at the uh, US 30, let's see what kind of a trade we have on that is a buy limit, okay, with the entry price at 42,964.89. Let it make a correction down to this blue line here. Then the Euro US, as we are bearish on all of the major pairs, I have a sell limit on the Euro US with the entry price at 1.0660, our resistance zone here. And then the odd US, I have a sell limit on that one with the entry price at 0 0.6480. Let it just make a small correction before it continues down. And then the New Zealand US, a sell limit on that one with the entry price at 0 0.5875. Let it make another small correction here just back to this resistance zone before it continues down. And then the pound US, also a sell limit. It needs to make a correction back to 1.2700. And the USD CAD. I told you I would share a little bit with you on this one. I am not taking this order. Okay, be clear. I know that some of you want to trade the USD CAD. You can knock yourself out. I don't want to trade the USD CAD at these high prices. But if you want to take a buy order on the USD CAD, it can go higher. All right. Uh, your entry price would be 1.4045. But let me just share with you on the daily chart. In fact, let me go to the monthly chart on the USD CAD. And what you'll see here is a triple top. Bang 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 right in that 140 zone now it did that before in uh, 2020 which was four years ago it did that before that in uh, 2015 okay so that triple top over multiple years it can go higher it did it got up to 146 both of these times here and it could go to 146 and then fall right back down you see it did that twice it got up to 146 and then just crashed came all the way down to 125, went up to 146 here, and came all the way down to 120. So it might be able to go up to 145, 146 again, but there's three things you can do in trading. That's buy, sell, or wait. And I am choosing to wait on the USD kit. I do not want to buy at these high prices. I know that it will come back down, but some of you want to trade, so here is a buy limit. Uh, on the USD CAD at 1.4045, but I will not be taking that trade myself. Then the UJ, the USD JPY, okay, just buy it market open. I love this long-legged doji here that we had at the close of the US session on the four-hour chart, all right, and we, we have seen this many, many times. How it goes way up, 
and then it falls back down, goes up, then it falls back down, goes up, then falls back down, goes up. And what has it done? It's fallen down. So it's time to go up again. <laughs> All right. So buy the UJ on market open on Monday. Okay. So that's a wrap for this weekly analysis starting on the 18th of November, 2024. I hope that these uh, trade setups that I share with you, my pending orders will help you to be profitable in trading Forex. Uh, just remember that this is not financial advice. This is only for educational purposes. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I will get back to you. So wherever you are in the world, have a great week of trading. Don't forget, be kind to yourself, be kind to others.